This is a hell of a year for uh, Disney to celebrate their 100th anniversary. <laughs> like, of, of all the years, <laughs> of all the years for, for, for this to happen, it's this one. But either way, uh, I went to the theater and I watched Wish. As I mentioned earlier, Wish is supposed to be the big 100th anniversary of Disney. This is like the big centennial celebration, almost. It's their it's an original animated movie, which people clamor for. Do they show up? We don't know. Ariana DeBose voices Asha, a teenager who's living in the kingdom of Rosas, where King Magnifico, voiced by Chris Pine, is able to take people's wishes to protect them and make sure that they are stored properly and every now and then he gets he chooses to grant one of them for the people however this king is not really all that he's shaped up to be and one could say that he is evil so she, she's got to stop him it's it's a disney animated movie that's, a, that's the plot. And that's something that I appreciate. When I say the plot on paper, it's a very simple idea. We're going back to basics for the Disney 100th anniversary, which on paper is a great idea. Uh, especially with looking at, especially with the big thing about it trending is the animation style. It, it kind of looks like it's being hand-drawn animation, which is great. I've been wanting them to go back to that. But then, in concept and in practice, that is two different things with this movie. And no, I'm not harping on this whole movie. I'm going to say it sucks just because the animation is bad. But I'm going to show you a like a screenshot of the movie that I got from like Twitter or something. Just I want you to look at this and take it in. Does it look good? Personally, I don't think it looks that good. But I'm showing it to you on this. I'm watching it on... A TV, a phone, an iPad, I don't know what I don't know what you're watching it on. Yeah, it may look weird on your phone or your device, but in a theater it actually looked a little bit more polished than I expected it to be. But honestly, that could just be like watching it watching screenshots for so long like on a phone. But it also fits in this weird gray area of it's trying to mimic that style of like hand-drawn animation, but also it's still 3D. It's still 3D animated. It felt weird. And if it was taking inspiration from like the storybook animation and almost watercolor-esque stuff that was in the last Puss in Boots movie, but it, it hits this weird in-between and feels very strange. It didn't affect my opinion on the movie at all. It's just, I feel like it's, it's definitely something that could put people off if you are one of those people that like has to get attuned to how an animated movie looks to get into it. When it comes to the voice acting, I only feel like it's worth mentioning uh, Ariana DeBose and Chris Pine. Uh, Ariana DeBose voicing Asha is pretty much the, the Disney protagonist. The quirky female Disney protagonist, which is... I didn't mean to say it that way. <laughs> it's... It's fine. I like that trope. Don't say anything. But Disney has been doing it so many times at this point that just it feels like really contrived and that they're just copying off of their own movies and just it does it does it but it doesn't really do it as well as something like Moana or something like Encanto. Yeah, I don't know, I like Encanto. Chris Pine though feels like he's in a totally different movie when he's voicing uh, Magnifico. It's nice to see that we have have like. An actual Disney villain now and not like a, a twist villain which only one that's ever really worked for me is Hans I get it but the whole thing is it feels like he's in a completely different movie and I, I liked watching him Chris Pine's hamming it up I like Chris Pine he's my favorite out of those Chris groups so it's nice to see him just go wild there are a couple of lines of his that are supposed to be jabs at other Disney movies and it, it's it's pretty funny. Which I'm gonna segue into uh, the other references to Disney movies because yes, again, this is the 100th anniversary celebration and it, it got a little on the nose sometimes and especially at the end, it just kept, keep getting hit with one after another and it, it just wasn't that great. And to me though, I feel like if it came out a couple years ago before well, okay, 
there's a pr there's a timeline I have for something like this. We are at there's pre Spider Man No Way Home and post Spider Man No Way Home. If this had come out pre No Way Home, I feel like this wouldn't have bothered me. But especially since we are post No Way Home, and a lot of other movies are trying to do it. Some of them are doing it well. Some of them not so much. Uh, this is one of the ones where it just ends up not being too bad. But it's cute enough where I can't say I hated it. And now we come to the songs, where this one of the only things in the movie that actually actively bothered me. And, you know, I I don't love every single Disney musical like this. I, I, I There are some that I think are great. I really like, honestly, I like the songs out of the modern era within the last decade or so. I think it's like Frozen, Moana, and Kanto. Those are the ones. And a lot of those, the two of those movies are done by Lin-Manuel Miranda, which I've said on occasion that I don't really like his writing style. I think it hit really well with Moana and Kanto and even parts of Hamilton. But pretty much everything outside of that, I can very, I, I can't get into it. It's, it's, it's just not my thing outside of those three things. But even then, that musical theater feeling, that almost Broadway, why why so many Disney musicals translate the Broadway so well is because they have that lens of musical theater. And I, I usually like that kind of music. But for, in, in, in Wish's case, uh, Lin-Manuel's not doing the music for this, which I don't know why. He was probably busy doing those so new songs for the live action Little Mermaid. But instead of that, we have I feel bad because I can't remember the other person's name, but we have Julia Michaels in doing the music for this, which, which means already, if you know who that is, uh, this is going to be a very top 40 pop sound, which I don't like that that much. I really don't, especially some of the newer stuff, just very much, it's, it's not my thing. Just flat out, not my thing. And it, it did not land for me And this very close to none at all. Uh, even the villain song, This Is The Thanks I Get, it warmed up to me. Wasn't a giant fan when I heard it. Cr Chris Pine singing it actually kind of helped a little bit. And no shade to Julia Michaels and the other person that helped write these. No shade to them. This is a weird move for to, to have it be your 100th anniversary movie to not get musical theater writers. It, doesn't, it, didn't, it didn't even have to be Lynn. It could, it could just be someone else and I don't know it kind of baffled me I feel like if there were any movie that you had to have at least the songs go hard I feel like it would have to be this but it, it just felt like nothing to me and that's actually a good thesis statement for Wish as a whole Wish is not an actively bad movie which I can say for like out of all the theatrical releases of this year that puts them above a lot of a lot of movies. So you can take that what you you can take that however you want. But it just felt like nothing to me. And that's the one thing I don't want coming from like a Disney movie, a Disney animated movie, especially something that is being touted as your one hundredth anniversary celebration. Which I can't stress enough because they were marketing the hell out of that for this because this is this is it this is the 100th anniversary movie which should have gone hard in the paint for this and i'm just i'm disappointed in that aspect but taking away that thing it's fine wish i'm gonna go with three stars it's not actively bad i'll probably give it another shot on disney plus once it goes on there but this could have been so much more during the credits, they had a little, like, montage of all the main characters from the other Disney animation, Walt, the Walt Disney Animated Studios movies, and they had my boys Bolt and Chicken Little in there. You, you, you guys are the goats. You're not going to be forgotten. <laughs>